Hey guys, how you doing? Austin Hilton here with a video for you. A little bit different company this time. Um, getting outside of the Palantir bubble as well as the crypto bubble and the EV space and talking about uh, space travel. Virgin Galactic Holdings, uh, ticker symbol SPCE. Uh, there seems to be some interesting interest around this stock. So I wanted to go ahead and bring you a video, give you my thoughts on it where I think the stock is gonna be in about 12 months from now, as well as maybe a little glimpse into what the analysts are saying, and just overall kind of what the, I think the market for um, the opportunity is for this stock. So that's what we're gonna be covering in this video. Um, as always, remember, uh, this video is for entertainment purposes only, and please drop a, a like on this video if you like it, if you get value from it, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel, become part of the community, growing real nicely. Love to have you here. Uh, make videos for you every single day with a very simple goal. It is to help make you aware of new opportunities, existing opportunities, stocks that you may be interested in, as well as just bring you some new information or a little bit different view of these stocks and just kind of help you understand kind of the landscape. I do not usually do real deep technical or fundamental analysis, deep dives. There's guys here on YouTube that do a way better job than that than I do, and so I leave that up to them. I'm just here to bring you information that I think is relevant and pertinent to these stocks that you're interested in all with the goal, real simply, of adding value to you so that you can kind of know what is going on with your favorite stocks from a news and information standpoint and make a go or no go to buying decision appropriately um, in that regard. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump over to uh, what I have for you and we'll get started with uh, looking at what is going on with space. Virgin Galactic Holdings, really pretty cool company. Here we go. Okay, so in looking at uh, Space's chart, you can see that in a one-year chart, um, we, you know, for the most of 2020, we kind of stayed around this $18, $17 range. Um, and then beginning in, towards the end of it, we had a little spike up to 33, dipped back down to 20, approximately uh, $25. And then right here, we had a real massive spike all the way up to about $59 plus. And I'll, I'll go into that in a little bit as to uh, why that happened uh, when we jump over to, to some information I want to share with you. And then we, we dove all the way back down. Okay, so you can kind of look at this and go, well, Austin, why are you really bringing this stock to us? Number one, there's a lot of interest in the stock. Number two, um, I think if you're looking at the chart, it looks like we've got really kind of good support at that at this level around the $30 range 20 you know obviously today it's trading at 28 the Nasdaq is down uh, definitely today we're having another red day on the Nasdaq so in the kind of this high 20s low 30s seems to be our support level uh, kind of overall right we've looks like we've got you know we've got about uh, what you know about three or four plus months worth of data here to kind of show that hey you know your support level is here and there seems to be some rumblings and discussion that that this stock might be poised to continue to kind of to go up I'll give you what I think this stock's going to be worth I think that this stock is a you know if you're trading at kind of a thirty dollar range I think this is a forty to fifty dollar stock in probably twelve months and now with all that said and the analysts are thinking it's about a forty to fifty dollar stock as well and in this scenario I actually kind of agree with them okay and we're going to talk a little bit over here a minute about what some of these analysts think but the only real problem with space stock is is that you know they're still in the process of of trying to get started I apologize one of my dogs is in here hey stop it Sorry about that. There's some workers outside, so I apologize. Um, one of my dogs is up here. He likes to bark at everybody. Okay, so um, this is a long-term hold is really where I'm going with this stock, okay? So if you're looking at the stock from the standpoint of short-term gains, this stock's not the right stock for you. If you're wanting to make an investment in, in kind of the tourism space flight market, this is absolutely the only, you know, absolutely the opportunity. Okay, now obviously Elon Musk with SpaceX is not, that, that stock's not traded. You can't get access to that stock as of yet, if it, if it, if when it will be available. Um, so if you're kind of wanting to get into this space, these guys are the, these guys are the main, main, they're, they're really it, right? And so, and so I think you're looking at, um, you know, it, they're years away from from having the space flights actually going, and it's a long term play 
uh, to get to that, right? So it's a so I think again, I think that there seems to be some consensus that we believe that the stock is going to continue to gonna go up incrementally. So it's probably a forty to fifty dollar stock within twelve to eighteen months, give or take. Uh, this is all caveated that the Nasdaq and the Dow will kind of agree with us, and overall we'll have more green days than we'll have red days, which obviously we should. So I think it's an opportunity there, and I think that this is really. Our, our our support level right here in this kind of 30 high 20s low 30s range okay so you know and, and, at, and, at, and at forty dollars I mean you know you're still looking at what you know look at 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 thirty seven dollars just kind of what tip ranks has it by the way that's only uh, there's nine analysts uh, rating it there's guys that are rating it at a fifty dollar fifty dollar forty dollar now you do have some analysts that are saying hold I understand why they're saying hold saying hold because it because there's there's no revenue yet there's no you know there's nothing coming in and so this company's in the building phase right so um, I but I know that there are investors who just really want to be involved and have stock in this marketplace which is part of the reason I want to make this video for you I am very bullish on the stock I apologize if I haven't said that I'm bullish on the stock long term you can see you see tip ranks and the analysts are saying hey by March 2022 they're saying you know they're saying they're high in their average is 37 so I think I think there's a little bit more upside here than say $37 uh, but hey even at even at current levels right now at 29.65 at 37 that's a 27 percent return okay so you know you can kind of look at it and go that's that's how I always look at at, at, at tip ranks and look at some of the stuff when I'm looking at like what are the what do the analysts think and, and kind of like that you always got to come back hey man 20, 20 to 27 percent on your money is not bad it's really really good right now I know there, there are other bigger opportunities maybe out there better and, and I've you know I've talked about some of them on my channel here but I just want to make you aware that that's kind of that that's a, that's a decent range right okay so we've talked about that uh, we talked about the stock, um, you know, the chart. Let's look at really the little piece of information I got for you today. So this analyst right here, uh, Michael Kiar, Kier, Kier, Moli, I hope I can I can't pronounce his name right. Has put a fifty dollar um, has put a fifty dollar price tag on this, and so I found this article on Investor Place. Thought I'd bring it to you. So this actually is talking about his projection and why he thinks that there is a fifty dollar plus opportunity for Virgin. Uh, and that's inside of 12 months. Okay, so again, wanted to bring this to you, let you see it. So, uh, as you know, they um, so basically, uh, Virgin Galactic came to the market in 2019, early 2000. That's when the stock just debuted. Early in 2021, the share price gradually ascended, uh, rapidly ascended, and just as quickly came crashing down. So we we saw that right here, right? That's that right. That's that massive ascension, and then coming back down. Okay. So is this a problem or an opportunity for enterprising investors? I thought this was a great question. The answer depends on your vision of the future of space tourism along with Virgin Galactic's position in the niche industry. That's really what it comes down to. What is your vision of the future of space tourism? Is space tourism going to be a huge marketplace? Absolutely, unequivocally. I mean, it's there. It's happening. Uh, you wouldn't see you know, Virgin Galactic and SpaceX, all of them doing, you know, making strides and doing what they're doing if it wasn't for this particular this niche, it's a it's a massive massive opportunity. It's just a matter of when, right? And it's and the, it does deep dive a little bit into that in just a minute. Okay, so I'm sure you're familiar with this that the, that the stock uh, the space stock came available on a, on October 28th with via a SPAC social capital Hedo Sophia. I, I'm that's a wow what a name. Okay. Um, so they were the first company to merge with a SPAC. I actually didn't know that. I thought that was interesting. And there was much celebration as the share catapulted from the $10 level in October 10 to 19 to the $34 level in 2020. Okay. But again, it, 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 it abated, right? And then we know that the stock went wild. We've already talked about that. So let's move on. Okay. Right here is really what I wanted to get into this. Okay. All right. So that particular analyst, and it was this analyst right here, Michael, okay, is where this is coming from. Um, basically envisions Virgin Galactic shares reaching $50 again. Okay, so he's placed a buy rating on it, obviously, as well as getting a, a, a pretty high valuation of it at, at $50 per share. Okay, so Truist, the company that he works for, appear to be massively bullish not only on the stock, but on the company itself. Reportedly, that they, they forecast that by the year 2030, 
Virgin Galactic will control 50% of the space tourism market. That paragraph right there is the reason I made this video. I thought that that was an extremely interesting scenario. If you're kind of looking at, you know, the overall space tourism market, there goes my nose itches every time I get on video. Uh, and, you know, obviously we know that SpaceX and, and Elon Musk are not on board with them controlling 50% of the space tourism and they are going to be in the space as well, right? But you can't buy SpaceX stock. Okay, so we're talking about, is this a good stock to buy? Okay, so let's see. So to get exposure to the sector, you can either sit around and wait for Musk to list SpaceX stock or own Virgin Galactic shares today. For proactive investors, the choice is obvious. Now this is really the reason for this particular scenario, why we think that they may control 50% of the tourism, okay? All right, so they are the first market entrance. Not always the best to be the first market interest. I'm I mean, entrant. I'm kind of looking, doing a little bull bear model here, right? Um, sometimes the second one coming into a market does it better, faster, cheaper than the first one. Sometimes they do. A lot of times, first entrants obviously become you know a quasi monopoly, like them, like possibly is here. Uh, they have proprietary technology. They have vertically integrated operations. They have already done successful test flights. Um, the commencement of their, their, you know, they are, have the commencement of commercial operations. They have a plan for that. Plans for a consumer-oriented experience, leveraging the Virgin brand. Okay, if tourist predictions turn out to be correct, then Virgin Galactic's commercial startup could commence operations early in early 2022. Moreover, the company could generate close to one billion in sales by 2030. Now. Honestly, cards on the table until I read this, I didn't know that their operations could be commenced and start up as early by 2022. I was not aware of that. And so honestly, it's not a space I pay a lot of attention to per se, but whenever I this, uh, this came across my desk as something that you guys might be interested in, I did a little bit of due diligence and, and saw this and I'm like, that's very intriguing to me. So it's maybe potentially not as long of an investment, which brings us full, full back to, hey, that $50 price tag uh, within say 12 months may be very, very doable, 40 to $50 per, you know, per, per stock because of the hype that will come if they do commence operations. I apologize, allergies are killing me. If they do commence operations by 2022, the mainstream media is going to just blitz this stock. It's going to be all anything anybody is talking about. It will be. You and I both know that, right? So maybe take a little small bullish stance on this particular stock at its current price level of say $28, which I believe right I believe is our support level. You know, outside of this major run up, which to me is frankly an anomaly just in a run up, we seem to have some support in this high, you know, maybe you set a price target of say let it let it drop a little bit maybe into the maybe down to $25 range, buy at 25, sit and hold on it. And you're betting on the fact that, hey, they're going to commence operations by early 2022. And you know, fundamentally, there's going to be, think of the worldwide media coverage of the first space tourism flight. Think about that. Don't you think that will make people immediately go, oh my God, I got to get a piece of that stock and you're potentially sitting back here and you bought in at the $25 range. So 50, 40 to $50 per share inside of 12 months may not be that, um, it may be too low. It could be, right? I mean, we're guessing at this point in time, right? Because they're still in the build, build, the build part, right? As always, a few final thoughts here. When I sat down to record this video, it, it kind of took me a little bit to get my brain around it because Usually the, the, the stocks I bring you uh, are already up and running, they're profitable or, or, or you know, or, or they, they have revenue. They have, they, you know, they've, you know, they've, they're just that. They're not, so this one was a little bit different for me in that I had to kind of figure out an angle of what I think that there's value here. And I think we kind of discovered that as we were walking through that is that, is that, you know, if you, if you look at this opportunity to own the stock at say, Again, maybe set your price target to be a little bit lower because uh, we are definitely in some market correction time with the Nasdaq and the Dow, you know, having their having their, their red days as we're as we're definitely in right now. And so, maybe set a price target of twenty five, twenty six dollars if you are thinking about getting into the stock. And you are, and remember what I said: 
they they are they are they are predicting or saying that they're going to begin flight operations in 2000 sometime in 2022 uh, with reaching a billion dollar sales in 2030 but i would also bring you fully back to the media and the hype worldwide the coverage of that first space tourism flight will be a massive um a massive worldwide event and don't you think there will be a ton of people looking oh my god i gotta get i gotta go buy this i gotta go buy space you know space stock right now right and you'd be sitting there you know you bought it at 25 30 plus dollars again an opportunity so it's your call whether or not i i I am bullish on this stock i think it's kind of a long-term bullish um and i and i would and i would i'm always i'm always the guy who wants to kind of hedge my bets i would say that at the current price levels for it to reach say 37 to you know low 40s i think is pretty easily doable we've already kind of looked we've already set our our support level you know at that high 20s low 30 anyway and at, at right now at 37 dollars we look that's a 27 percent you know return on your money right and i think this one you're betting on that that first flight operation and what and how it looks and and the worldwide exposure for that and that could be your main main catalyst for this opportunity for this stock to just go through the roof okay so hope you've enjoyed this video a little bit different video because a little bit different stock and so uh enjoyed making this one for you it took me a while to figure out how to what i wanted to say in this one so hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you later in the next videos if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video if you would if you got value at least maybe i gave you a different some 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 food for thought as it relates to space stock virgin galactic we'll see you in the next video take care